the radiologist called me and said, Ms. Cox, I'm sorry. And he said, we diagnosed you with uh, cancer. Um, so I immediately, my husband came to get me and I just kind of looked at him and said, I have cancer. They saw a, 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 a bright circle. It is treatable as long as you follow the things that need to be done, um, which involved 18 rounds of chemotherapy, um, a lumpectomy, and also um, 20 rounds of radiation therapy. So the chemotherapy was the most frightening and the hardest thing I've ever done. I thought having my son was the hardest thing I've ever done, labor and delivery, but it wasn't. It was chemotherapy because there were days that I felt like I couldn't do it anymore. I wasn't gonna make it. I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink. Now I truly understand why they say that women and men who fight cancer of any kind, of any sort, are truly survivors because they are. I garden every year and I landscape every year. And this time I said, well, am I gonna be able to have the strength to plant? And as I was laying in bed, I just said, what are you going to do? And I kept thinking I should be done with everything by spring. And I want to, to make the breast cancer symbol, I told my husband. I'm gonna have all pink flowers in memory of my mother and all the survivors, and even the ones who did not survive, who fought like I am fighting now, it's in memory. And me and my husband came outside and I just took a stick and drew the breast cancer symbol with a stick. And I just started planning, planning around the symbol. So I did that and I wanted to be done by the time I was done with my last radiation treatment. So I was planting my garden through radiation. So I finished my last one on um, June 6th. For those who are fighting cancer now, I say don't give up. Think about going into survivorship mode and that's where I am now. I am a survivor. I thought about it, I prayed about it. God helped me through it. He guided my footsteps to where I needed to be and he can do the same for others. Support is truly essential. Um, there's so many um, programs out there to support you financially, spiritually, mentally, uh, all of those things, but you just can't give up because the medication that they give you is meant to kill the cancer cells, not you, not your spirit. It's a hard fight, you don't feel good, you know, been on that, that porcelain floor after chemo many, many times, but I got up. It's a new journey for me. It's a new life for me. It's totally different now. Uh, it's just awakened me in a very positive way uh, to be there for others like others were for me.